We're here on the uh, island of uh, Anguar, Palau, executing a high Mars rapid infiltration mission. Uh, and basically, the concept behind that is the insertion of a long-range precision fires asset like the Mike 142 high Mars uh, using airlift assets. In this case, we're uh, working jointly with the Minnesota Air National Guard, and we'll take that launcher system, insert it via air onto an airfield, uh, execute a fire mission, and then uh, retrograde via the same means. The ability to do this in an expeditionary uh, airfield in austere environments means there's going to be a wide range of terrain available that we can posture these assets across the Indo-Pacific, which is going to make it uh, a very viable option for the Joint Force to utilize in its mission out here. Well, the reason why it's important to land on this island is because it is such a small island with an unimproved airstrip and to test and to prove our capabilities to make sure we're able to do this in such remote locations to kind of prove the ideas of Fort Design 2030. Exercises like this really show the capabilities of the Marine Corps as a whole. You know, the, the Marines nowadays, all the leadership, we get, we're stronger, faster, we're smarter we're better equipped, it just shows how lethal the Marine Corps has become throughout the years. The capability that the Marine Corps brings to the table additionally to this is the Marines themselves, the NCO Corps. Their ability to conduct uh, small unit tactical decision making uh, means that we can execute simultaneous actions in a complex operation like this. And uh, without their training and dedication, this mission type is not possible.